All right. Um, we're going to uh, do a three-part uh, series on oil injection. Other than fuel contamination, it's probably the number one reason we have to remanufacture motors here. Um, as I get, keep saying, outboards don't wear out, they die of neglect. And this is a very neglected part of an outboard because, hey, it's working, I'm not going to do any maintenance to it. Mainly about the, because of there's a tank in the boat on most of them and people don't take care of them. How it works is there's a tank in the boat. When the oil level gets to a certain level down, it makes an electric uh, pump, pumps oil to this tank, brings it up to this level. If it goes down, an alarm's supposed to go off. Always make sure your alarms are working on a Yamaha. It's very easy. Every time you turn the key on, you get a beep beep. Tell you my alarm is working. So, once the oil is to the motor, it's, the oil's in this tank. It's filled up from the electric motor in the boat, which we will cover in the second part of this video. And then gravity takes the oil down to a pump right here. It is a gear-driven pump off the crankshaft. There's an arm that goes to your throttle linkage right here. Can you see that? Now we get close. That moves. Okay, wide open throttle pumps a lot more oil than at idle. So it's a varying rate, which makes it idle a little better, smokes a little less at idle. If this rod breaks or comes off, that's spring loaded, it'll give you full oil. So if you're wondering why your motor's smoking a lot, it might be that arm, this little plastic thing broke like that. It goes to wide open. It's a safety guard, so you don't pop your motor at wide open throttle. It doesn't stick at the low setting of the oil injection. So that's pretty much it. That's everything on the motor. It's a very good system. Uh, but if you don't maintain it like everything else, it'll fail. So this is, as we talked about, this is the tank in the boat. So use your imagination. Assume there's a boat around this. They bury this deep in the bilge of the boat, something that you don't want to look at, you don't want to check. So in this case, it has an above the deck fill, which if somebody leaves it off, it rains in here, or somebody decides to sabotage your boat and puts water in here. Uh, water goes to the bottom of the tank because it's heavier than oil. The pickup, of course, at the bottom of the tank, it pumps your motor full of water. Water is a horrible lubricant. It destroys the outboard. Very preventable. I would say you should take this out and check it probably every five years, or if you just bought the boat, who knows what the guy did. Uh, we prefer that you fill the tank below the deck, get rid of this, and it's much easier. Another thing that happens on Yamaha, oh, also this is the bracket that holds it in. Almost every time we take one out, hold it out. The bracket looks like that. It's all rotted. It's made out of steel. Fortunately, you can substitute a battery box. This one would be a Group 27. Works out pretty well. It's plastic. It doesn't rot out. So that's what we end up doing. Finding to use one of those is possible. I don't know if you can get them there. So that bracket covers this electric motor, and that's your pump. These go bad, it won't transfer, easy to test, you get it, get it out of there, you throw 12 volts to it, if it pumps, you know you've got a problem with your harness from the tank to the motor. Uh, they go bad quite a bit, as you see this one's starting to corrode a little bit. But a big thing that happens, we get complaints, or not complaints, but people say, I don't understand, if I go wide open for a little while, my alarm goes off, I slow down for a while, shut the engine off, alarm goes away, I'm fine until I go wide open. But what it is, is this little filter here clogs up. It restricts the flow to the motor, which in, in turn is a slow fill, only at wide open, it doesn't fill to this top. So the oil gets low, alarm goes off, so if I don't have oil in this tank, a lot of times puts it in Guardian, which won't make me go fast. Slow down, you get enough flow to recover, Maybe in 20 minutes, you're fine. Again, so this filter should probably be changed every two to three years, checked. And I like to cut them apart to make sure if, if it's nice and clean inside, I know I don't have any contaminant in there. So if there is, you gotta clean the tank out, find out where the contaminant is. In this case, this the inside of this hose could be falling apart, putting crap in there. Um, using two different types of oil can cause, in a rare case, cause some kind of sediment in there. So these motors uh, quite often all rusted. Um, I think they're 
over 200 bucks. And as you can see, this, this hose is not put in right. There's a kink in there. That could cause a problem. So mainly the problems of oil injection are transferring the oil from the boat to the motor. It would be much better if they could put the whole tank on the motor. Suzuki's done that. Uh, the new G2s do that. It's much better, uh, but it takes up a lot of space inside that motor cowling, so that's the reason they, don't, they can't do it. Um, so, And this is the, the, the guts of how it works. Here, here we have a crankshaft that would be in that engine in the back, and this is V6. There's a bronze gear right there. Meshed with this gear, which drives the oil pump that you saw in the first video. And what we do when we remanufacture a motor, we set this up. This is the tank off the motor, of course. We put some oil in it. We've got our gravity feed because we're suspending this. We take an electric drill, in this case clockwise. We watch to make sure the oil comes out. sure it's coming out of low. We don't have a plug. Usually these lines are a lot longer, but this one was just cut off. Again, it's wide open because that, that arm is the one you see in the first video. And that's wide open. It's, it doesn't really spring too well. But. So that's it. The main thing I can tell you, make sure your alarm works. Clean your tank. Change your filter on the Yamahas. Uh, if you check the harness if you can. And then, uh, when in doubt, put some oil on the gas. Um, it's not too bad to double it up. You should always also keep extra two-strike oil in the boat. You get a failure. Your alarm tells you it's not working. To be safe, put some oil in the gas. You're going to save your motor. You won't have to have it rebuilt by us. So, pretty much it.